So the cross gives to them to every man power, dominion, glory, and honor. Okay, let's look at it in scripture. Revelation. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. Saying with a loud voice, What is the lamb that was what? What was this land for? Are you seeing it there? So he was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory. So when you come into the... See what Jesus received, he has given it to his body. He has given it to the church. So he was slain to receive power. So if power wasn't important, why was he slain for it? Are you with me, somebody? Why was he slain for it? So we should not downplay the exercise of power in our lives. We shouldn't. Anyone that is born of Christ, the same day he is born, power is given to that person. Paul said he's writing to remember, to remind Timothy that he stir up the gift of God that is in him. For God has not given unto him the spirit of fear. But of what? Power. But of power. And I repeat, power is not for pastors. Alone. It's not for apostles. It's not for prophets. Power is for every believer. And this sign shall follow them that believe, not pastors. Not pastors. Say my hands. So we say my hands. Say it confidently. Say my hands. My hands are ordained to manifest the power of God. My hands are ordained to manifest the force, the strength, the power of our Lord Jesus. Those hands of yours are ordained for that purpose. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover. That's the inheritance of the righteous. It is your right to receive healing when hands, when your hands are laid. If you pray alone and nothing happens, lay hands, something will happen. Jesus had to prove with infallible proofs, with power. He said, see, nobody will know you. Believer is not, I am a, I am a child of God. I, I, I am a child of God. He feels it's in words. It's not in words. It's not in music. He's not singing praise, praise, prayer. Uh, he's a good believer. Uh, uh, you are a good believer when you keep the enemy where he belongs. It's a sign that it, these are proofs that the devil is cast. Uh, uh, when John sent to ask, Jesus, are you the one or should we look for another? What did he do? He brought the sick, brought the lame, brought the dead. He Cure them of the family, cast it out devil, make the blind to see, make the deaf to hear. They go and tell him. He revealed himself by power. So, what makes you feel that uh, it is your doing good? I mean, doing good doesn't make you a, it makes you a good brother, it doesn't make you a good Christian. You know, a Christian because you love. After all, our other brothers they are preaching love. They are own love, even in the killing, there is love. Power is 
is what identifies you. I know that the devil is doing power too. We have a higher power. What are they talking about? In your present, their power ceases. What are they talking about? They can do the wonders there, but when they come before you, all the demon accompanying them takes leave. What happened with Elijah? Were they not doing signs and wonders? Before the king could bow to Baal, that means power was being displayed. But when they came to Elijah, see, they took the bait because they have been seeing Baal manifesting. They were prophet, 800 prophets of Baal. Ah, 40, 400 or so. 400 and other prophets. 400 prophets of Baal and the rest. They cried. One man. When there is light, darkness, please. You will want to manifest what you have been manifesting. It will disappear. Not before you. you don't, it, because we don't know who we are. We are afraid. We are afraid. They do. You. <laughs> You're dead. Even if you are afraid in your heart, eh? be bold. Stand there. See, God will defend you. Uh, you don't know. You don't know the God you you have. I am That demon will leave. They will take twenty feet backward. The guy will stand. He will jump in, jump in, without not knowing that the demons he brought have left him. They've gone to wait. For him. <laughs> They've gone to wait for him some way. The demon, demon, you know if you face when they see you, when they know that you know you're right. And that you're going to, uh, you are about to cast them out because you will cast out them. That is, that is perfect. Ah, where are you? Every demon in you right now, leave. Give them leave. They will obey. Yes, sir. They are out of the person. No, no. You know, we don't. We are not clothed with power. Jesus did not say tarry to receive power. That's a mistake. He said, he said, Lord, I'll give, I'll give to you the promise of the Father. But he said, tarry until ye be clothed. The word until means to be clothed. There is a glory you are carrying. That glory, when you carry that glory to meet, to meet Satan, Satan will use you like diaper but when you clothe yourself with power he he told them don't go wait and I want to say and ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost how because they they didn't just go out to preach the gospel they stayed in the upper room and they were praying in tongues till the tongues overflew that is it overwhelmed them the people started coming around they were, they were tarrying. It wasn't that they were not going out to preach. You don't get it. They, they were praying. They were waiting as normal. Then the Holy Ghost down came. The Holy Ghost came on waiting men. So the issue of now coming to now state of the Holy Ghost is not there. They have been there for 10 days in one place waiting for the Holy Ghost. So they were, the ground was already ready. The, the Holy Ghost didn't come to come and start do, do training. Uh, uh, you know, you don't have to know how to speak in tongues. No, uh, uh, we already came on men who have been trained, trained for forty days, exercising what they have been taught for ten days. So when the Holy Ghost now came, they were already ready for the work. So as they were there praying in the Holy Ghost, worshiping God, people began to gather. They now came. Ha! I'm hearing this. When Peter now saw that they have gathered. He now said, ah, this is a good opportunity to witness. He said, this is that which was spoken. He now began to preach the gospel. The Bible says, at that instant, 5,000 men was added to the church. It wasn't a crusade as in, let's gather, let's gather. It was as a result of their waiting, as they were waiting, they began to pray. The power of God rested on them. Tarry. Sir, tarry means tarry. 
the essence of tarrying is so that when the Holy Ghost in you will now become a garment that you wear. You are not pray asking God for power. He has given you power. But are you putting on your garment? Joseph, the father gave him a garment. If he didn't wear the garment, he don't be envy now. If he kept the garment some way. But he was always wearing the garment. Always. He was proud of his garment. It was a sign of his father's love. So every day, the garment of many colors put it on. He became a source of envy. The brothers envied him. Then he now had a vision. They now said, ah, this one here. Ha, with the father's love and with this one. Ah, no, he cannot exist. He wasn't the last one, no. Now look at it. Petition. The father loved him because of his mother, Rachel. Not because of him, as in him. Uh, are you getting me? So God loves us not because of us per se, but because of Christ. When he sees you, he sees Christ. So the same love he extends to Jesus is the same love he extends to us. Are you with me, somebody? He extends that same love to us. So we are, so it's our responsibility to clothe ourselves at all times. You can't go out naked. You must be clothed. Put off the garment of the old man. Put on the garment of the new man. The garment of the new man is power. We are made after the image of him that has created us. Now listen. God, wherever God is, to know that God is here, there is power. God cannot be in a place and there is no power. My brother, my sisters, when God was said to be in Mount Sinai, there were thunders, lightnings, darkness, smoke. You don't dare one step close you are dead. Even goats, innocent goats, will walk around the temple, that mountain, and he is dead. The Shekinah glory was so strong that even animals fell, died. People were now afraid. They now placed boundaries. Even when God spoke, the, the, it was like lightning, it was like thunder. People now say, hey, we don't want to hear again. Do you know that even in the time of Christ, God spoke and people hate thunder. Jesus hate the word of God. God spoke. This is my beloved son. In whom I'm with. They hate brum, 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 brum. That was, that was, even at that day, that those days, that's what they hate. It was only Jesus Christ that hate. This is my beloved son. In whom I'm well pleased. Are you with me? Even when Jesus spoke to Paul, they heard a sound, but did not hear what the sound meant. That sound meant a message to Paul, to Saul. Ladies and gentlemen, there is something we have in the inside of us. It's not for any other thing. It's for you. God has put it for your use that you may know the exceeding greatness of his power that is in us. How are we going to face the next day without this power? So it is now your responsibility to say, I don't want to walk again without power. I want to walk in power. I want to walk in power. I decide today I will stir up the power of God. And thank God he has given us an instrument. You know when a man engages in tongues, he prays in the spirit, he stirs up the power of God. You might not feel it, but power has been, has been stirred. Are you with me somebody? 
You know, the power that you have is spiritual. You don't need to feel it. Sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't feel it. Thank you.